Good evenings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the old school game snob. In today's video, we are taking a look at the 92nd Chaos Sanctuary run. This is specifically to farm essences of terror to help with your build resets, which uh, which can be very nice. Obviously, reroll stuff, try out different builds. That's good stuff. And so this video is featuring a Blizzard sorceress because I think she's really really good at this run. Blizzard is just so powerful at taking down the monsters in the Chaos Sanctuary and it's also fire and forget. You can use it defensively and you can obviously use it offensively but you can create a blizzard in your path to stop things from coming after you and you can drop it down on a group of monsters. You don't even need a clear line of sight to them and the only thing that slows things down is uh, well clearing out enough monsters so that you can actually click on the seal. Sometimes they stand on top of it and you can't telekinesis it and you can't click it because there's too many monsters in the way, so you have to drop down a blizzard, clear up the monsters. For this Lord Decease part, I like to save him till the end. We'll do this run one more time in a second so you can see it again. But I like to save Lord Decease at, for the end, and that is because he's kind of hard to locate. And also he's cold immune. And so uh, you can't really just kind of drop a blizzard and hope it kills him because it won't. It never will. Old immune. So you've got to figure out which one he is and then drop your mercenary down on top of him. And then once he pops, he, can, he takes out everything. And so you're sure you got him because he just takes out everything. So I like to do Grand Vizier first. I like to do Infector second. And I like to do Lord Decease third for those reasons. So we will finish off Diablo here and then I'll talk about this run one more time. All right, so starting things off. Starting things off, we are straight shot teleporting to the top left uh, seal. I'm going to break that seal, usually because it's the easiest one to get to first. There can be a little hiding spot also if, you, if there's too many monsters and you need to drop down a blizzard and just let some of them clear out. Um, next off, we're going to head down to uh, the Infector of Souls. We're going to wait for the little, uh, the little poof of smoke to appear and then uh, drop down blizzard again and wait for him to go down. Blizzard, like I say, can be used defensively because you can sort of find a nice little corner to stand in, drop a defensive blizzard in front of your little corner, and it can be hard for things to get to you through that blizzard. Very difficult indeed, just because blizzard kills so fast. Like I say, for this next part, your job is to keep things off of your mercenary so he can stay alive long enough to take down Decease. And you also have to locate Decease and then teleport your mercenary on top of Decease if he isn't already engaging him, which in this case he actually is. For this last bit, we head down to Diablo. Oh, picking up a ring because we got a few seconds before Diablo spawns here. But we wait for Diablo to say, not even death can save you from me. We give it the count of one, two, blizzard, and then static field immediately after. Get out of the way, put down some ice blasts, and that's it. That's the run. So taking a look at the gear focus, I'm, I've tried to stack up my resistance as much as I can, and that is because in the Chaos Sanctuary you get damage of all variety. So uh, as best as I could, I've stacked up my resistances here using uh, Viper Magi, using Harlequin Quest to get some more life and mana, some skills, Spirit Sword, Spirit Shield, Mage Fist. I'm wanting to break that 105% faster cast so I can teleport around uh, at uh, absolute uh, super quick speed. <laughs> Uh, for my rings, Ravenfrost cannot be frozen. Stone of Jordan, well, just because it's great. Immortal King's Belt, again, to get resistances up. Alder's Boots, to get resistances up. And uh, nice resistance and skills amulet. Basically, whatever I can do to get life and resistance up is what I focused on. And that's the sort of gear uh, focus for, for Chaos Sanctuary. Anyway, like I say, just get that resistance up as much as you possibly can. I'm not even maxed out here, but uh, I've done the best I can with the gear I've got available at the moment. For the build, I've got this guide actually on my channel, but in a nutshell, we're just focusing on pure blizzard damage. Point into armor, a little bit more survivability, uh, telekinesis obviously, static field, and one point into warmth, but otherwise pure blizzard damage focus, and that is to kill things super fast in the chaos sanctuary. You could also do an immortal Fro uh, immortal Blizzard Sorceress, and that's actually what I'm respecting to here pretty soon. As soon as I farm some more, uh, as soon as I farm some more uh, essences, that's uh, like I say the reason to do this run quickly uh, to get those uh, essences and do more respects. So yeah, all right. And thank you to all my brilliant, handsome, charming Rockstar subscribers. You guys absolutely take the cake. Thank you so much for all of the support. I appreciate it. See you in the next video.